Welcome back to Alma, Missouri, everybody. Episode 4. We're cruising right along here. Today, our corn is ready. I wanted to take a look at the specs here and see what it's looking like. <laughs> Nitrogen was really bad. So was the pH. So we probably won't get the biggest harvest out of this. But nonetheless, we got a lot of... Is that weeds there too? Girl type corn ready to harvest. Maybe that's part of the field, the texture. No, that looks like weeds. So I think we're going to get a bad harvest out of this one. But it's fine. It is huge. Let's just do a quick flyover so everybody can see what that looks like. I could show you on the map, but that kind of means nothing until we see how big it actually is. Pretty big. Obviously not as big as some of these other fields, especially if we do ever buy this one here, which we probably will, depending on how quickly we progress. But we're going to want to get a bigger combine and header. So I think what we're going to do today is we will sell our case. We used it once to harvest our uh, it was wheat. I wanted to make sure I got it right. So we did get a chance to use it. Unfortunately, it is not very big, but we do have some cash. We might actually end up having to take out a bit of a loan on this series just because of how quickly we're expanding. But that was the whole purpose of starting with $2 million dollars. And progressing like we are. I want to get basically the biggest combine header we can. I think it's going to be that John Deere one. I had my eye on it. I was checking it out before. And then we won't have to worry about it later. It'll obviously make it doing big fields very nice and easy. So I'm not going to argue with that. We'll run this down. We probably... We'll just get her fixed up. I don't think this is too much. It's not too damaged, actually. We'll see what we got to do when we sell it. But I was going to say we should think about getting a power washer here. I haven't seen one. I should double check around the premises before I plop one down. But yeah, let's go ahead and drive to town. We'll get this sold. We'll get quite a bit of money out of it, I think. So it'll go towards our new combine. And hopefully we should still have enough for our cotton production that we want to tackle. Of course, I came in the back way. We got to go back out front to sell our equipment. Still getting used to the city here. But we should be able to get a pretty penny out of it. Best to do it early, too, while we can get a lot of money. All right, the header will be 35. Let's go, we might as well just repaint and repair everything. Sell that. Combine 214. Oh, uh, almost another 50,000 to repaint it. That's a lot. But we'll squeeze a little more cash out of it this way. And we'll go with that. Alrighty, how much money did we get? 369,693. Okay, so the harvester was going to end up being, you'd think it would be the ideal here, but those headers are not quite. We're getting 12 meters and 9 on those. If we go to the John Deere, let's back up here, we can get 15.2 on the grain harvester and then 12 on the corn and also does sunflowers we could consider later on down the road if we do sunflowers to get a sunflower header just for speed again that'll be once we got enough cash to to go ahead and burn i think we might need a trailer for this we'll find out just go ahead and buy all this stuff i'm not sure if this folds up either this will save us so much time. Looking forward to doing like a crazy amount quickly. Uh, US, of course, and then the piping design. Let's go with the longer one. 555,000. Ouch. Yeah, we are down to a mil and 84,000. Here we are, look at that. 
Nice new equipment. This will last us for the whole playthrough. Ah, uh, the corn header did fold up. It looks like we're going to need a header trailer for our grain harvester there. Let me just double check. This is insane. It's exactly what we wanted to do in this playthrough is have some big equipment and we are getting there. Like I said, if we have to take a loan out to get our harvester or our cotton operation going, we will. Uh, let's see if there's a fold. Unfold. That's our regular harvester. Yeah, I do not see a header trailer. So let's do a combinations on that. It'd be this guy. And there it is. Quite long. And I kind of wanted to do... We'll do the John Deere. Like, yay. Or should we do the opposite? Do the yellow. And then the green. No, that's not right. That's not what John Deere trailers look like. They look like that. Spare wheel for 500. Why not? I'm feeling generous today. 12,500. Excellent. This is humongous. But I think we made the right call. Like I said, the sooner we did this, the better. Get a lot more money for our old equipment. On the previous episode, we did buy that semi for the lime. We needed a lot of lime, so we just went ahead and bought a semi-trailer. And I'm glad we did. We're going to probably get a grain one, too. We still have to figure out how we're going to do our seeds, which we're going to have to upgrade our um, planter to do a direct drill. Will it snap? There we go. So we ain't wasting too much time. And our cotton won't plant until... April, so we got some time on that. Excellent. Oh yeah, the propane. Should look into how that works. There is special things on this map, like making fries and all that other good stuff. We'll see if we do ever get to it. I don't know if we will. But yeah, there's a propane section here. I almost need to look into... What's the purpose of that? Unless it's just for running equipment. But we got some harvesting to do. We have arrived. How are we going to swing in here? This is ridiculous. It's so big. Oh... I thought I took it wide. Oh, uh, we'll be alright. So, trying to think where we should keep a lot of this stuff. Probably put this out front so we ain't banging it on things. Or over on the side here. Hmm. I'll just park it here. It's just, it's crazy, but I'm so glad we got it. It's going to make it so, like, quick. Ah, uh, yeah, we do got a trailer. We'll put this in the silo. There's our other truck that we just bought for those that are just joining us. It's like a lime green, class green. Get this unfolded, see what this thing looks like. Just massive. Massive, massive. It's still going to take us quite a bit of time, though, I think. But I'm so glad that we got this. Just insane working with. Let's take a look at the filling. Should hold quite a bit. We do have a little bit of a junkyard back here. 
I wonder if we could sell that. Let's just take a quick peek at that. See what things look like. Yeah, it's basically a junkyard. We can demolish it. I might keep it though. Adds personality. I get probably be too boring without it. Then you would end up having to extend this field down probably. It's nice to have different things to look at. Alright. I'm gonna tackle this humongous cornfield. And we'll see you on the other side. And I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack I go crazy, nah, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on this shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said
This is an insane harvest. I'm not gonna lie. Let's pop out here real quick. One thing I'm impressed with, I don't think this does that. Um, the the crop gets stomped down here on this map. I don't think the corn does that on other maps. I almost had to look because it almost looked like they were getting ground deformation. Yes, yeah, so I'm getting a little nostalgia for Farm Sim 25 where the mud actually makes tracks in the field. Can't wait for that, but we are getting close as we're approaching. I think I'm going to let the worker tackle a little bit more of this and we'll start kind of getting prepped for, let's see, some more lime. We should fill up that unit. And then we'll go down to the sail point and get it filled up. I'm sure the time lapse was long enough already, so I figured we'll break it up and get some lime. We, I do want to sell this tractor, probably that small one there, and get a bigger tractor. I was kind of looking at some prices during the time lapse there. And uh, yeah, they're expensive, so... Like I said, I really want to make sure we can get some... Uh, the cotton operation going. We're end up. We're gonna end up having to take a loan out because this is getting so ridiculous with the costs and everything. I originally priced stuff out. I was like, okay, uh, a couple of mills should do it. Yeah, sure. Uh, actually, how much was in there? I didn't even see how full. Oh, yeah, we got room. And then we could go down and get filled up. See that looks like that resets. We might as well just go to the back. Plus, we're gonna have to get a different. Uh, I should have put it down farther. We'll see if it goes. Otherwise, I gotta move it down here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we gotta switch to. The correct slot E4. Five. So that one worked. I don't know why. Oh, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. One, two, three, four, five, but it says six. Oh, hmm. We're one behind then. How full are we now? 100%. So I think we still have some in four. Yeah, so... What happens if we force unload this? Doesn't look like we can do that. I was kind of hoping it would take a little bit more. We could probably go ahead and spread some line. That'd be a good thing to do right now. Get some on this field. We should relieve our driver right away. There we go. I think it's going to get to the point in this playthrough where we're probably going to want to get two of these harvesters and run them, especially on these big fields. We just fly right through it. Alright, so let's go ahead and spread some lime I think this shows up in our map here yes it does excellent we might actually put cotton in this field as you know, when you do cotton, you need a lot of crop to make a bale, so it only makes sense to do it in the bigger field. Maybe the smaller field we should do another grain crop, or we could try those peas, I suppose. Give that a shot.
All right. I think what we're going to do is just leave this tractor here. We'll shut it off. I want to try... I think I'm going to put corn in the back of this once. We are going to have to get a another... Well, I want to get one of those auger, those big auger tracks. I, we kind of got it on the end of the series on Ohio Richlands. I kind of want to get something like that again. Well, it looks like they finished up over here. That way we can get all the... Well, fit a ton of crop in there and then use the auger to run that back and forth. Let's see. We'll get them started on the other end over there. I just wanted to see how good this will work. It's probably almost more hassle trying to deal with all these compartments. Alright, not much. We'll get them started on the end here. And then we'll just tidy up our crop and then I think we'll run down and grab some light. Actually, there's not even that much here. We can finish it ourselves. Excellent. A little here and a little on the corner. Yeah, we'll just take care of it ourselves. Yeah, we start getting bigger fields like this, but this is actually not that big compared to some of these other ones. We almost kind of figure out how about a... If we could, like, try to set a worker, but it's so... I don't know how that's going to work when they wrap... There's like that field there, like, just wraps around this one. So even if I wanted to run a worker, it's, like, not going to work very well. So we almost have to, like, take a break and do something else. Otherwise, the whole episode is going to be a massive time lapse and people might like it people might not I don't know try to switch it up here so it doesn't get too monotonous and I believe that was all of it let's take a quick peek we got about half limed already. A little more than half. Uh, maybe not quite. Yeah, about half. Yeah, in the next episode, maybe I'll just bite the bullet and sell those two tractors to get a bigger one. Because I think that direct drill... Let's take a look at that, actually. The one we're looking at here... This direct drill planter, it'd be this one, 18.2 meters, it's going to be 350 horse, I guess that ain't too terrible. Because we do have the, well it's going to take liquid fertilizer, we want to make sure we get the fertilizer and the, and the seed, but th that'll make it a lot easier for us. Like we'd still have to go over it once more I think. This is such a good spot for this. Maybe we should actually put it in the shed. Was there anything else in the shed or was that it? It is empty. Lights work. Let's see if this fits in there without hitting the ceiling. We will, like I said, we will get a pressure washer in this series. Almost have to like dig it out when we need it if we put something else in here. Yeah, this is probably not ideal to do with this. Stick to the 
trailers, I think. Hopefully it, it works here. I guess we got a little ways to go. There we go. Bring the other trailer over. Yeah, so we are four episodes in. It feels like we did a lot. Definitely covered a lot of ground. And as we sell this other pro we'll have a lot of money coming in because I think the corn... If I'm not mistaken, doesn't that sell in January as well? There we go. Last of it. We are empty. Better back up so it doesn't slam into the auger. Don't slam into it. Ooh. Just enough. Yeah, so we'll leave this truck right at the front driveway here so we know that we gotta get lime first things first on the next episode. We'll shut her down. There we go, the last of it. What an incredible harvest we had today. Let's get a total. Our massive silo. Look at that, it's only 14% full. But it's 114,000. Yeah, we're definitely going to want a big trailer when we sell this. We'll have to get the grain trailer for the truck. When is that going to sell? Corn, January as well, yeah, so look at that, 208,000, ooh. And then the wheat, I might just keep all that wheat for the chickens, even though they're not using it a whole lot. But we could definitely sell our alfalfa, I think. All right, I'm going to leave it there for today's episode. Again, on the next episode, we're going to finish up that lime. We'll look at maybe getting... A bigger tractor will sell those two smaller ones, I think. And then we're going to have to upgrade our direct drill too, but we're going to have a lot of sales before that. So we're probably not going to do the direct drill just quite yet. So thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next one.